Hi there, I am Chantel Francina, the owner and designer for the Sunkiss Designs in Fort Architecture. Fort Architecture is the design and build rendering division for the Sunkiss Designs, a luxury artisan design and lifestyle brand offering women's ready to wear clothing, accessories for both men and women, home decor, art, and architectural design concepts. Today we are sharing our newest luxury accessory dwelling design, the Aviator, inspired by oak and hickory laminate and engineered hardwood flooring. Let's get started. This video was created to showcase the design and rendering process for our luxury accessory dwelling collections. For the design concept of the aviator, we were inspired by a laminate and engineered hardwood flooring that has an oak and hickory look where the browns are soft and the wood grain is definitive. This type of flooring can be sourced by many manufacturers and via home improvement stores. Fort Architecture by the Sunkiss Designs is excited to bring you our new luxury accessory dwelling concept and to let you experience our design and rendering process. We are giving you a behind the scenes look. So be sure to check out the description for more information about the other design inspiration products seen in this video and stay tuned until the end of this video where you will find all of the social media links to follow Fort Architecture by the Sunkiss Designs. Our first luxury accessory dwelling concept in the lifestyle collection is the Aviator. Our luxury accessory dwelling concepts are inspired by the real life happenings that we encounter. From work to leisure and entertaining wellness, these dwellings offer a new way to live. The Aviator is inspired by rustic steampunk decor and it is an office design with copper fixtures and heavy ornate furniture. Throughout this video, I will be going into detail about the concept and also showing pieces that bring the concept all together. Our accessory dwelling concepts are brought to you by Fort, the architectural rendering divisions of the Sunkiss Designs. To learn more about Fort, and the Sunkiss Designs, visit www.fortarchitecture.life and www.thesunkissedhome.com. Oak and hickory flooring inspired laminates and engineered hardwood flooring can be purchased directly from an array of home improvement stores and direct flooring manufacturers. So let me show you how I designed the concept. The accessory dwelling concept for the Aviator is one of several dwelling shells that I have created. This concept has a cantilevered roof in the front. I start a render by sketching it on graph paper and pencil. This allows me to measure the dimensions accurately. Then I trace that on the tracing paper and add elements, plants, lighting, and the details that make up the scene of placement. This spelling concept has floor to ceiling windows and outdoor recess lighting within the cantilever. Though this window is on the front, it's not where the entrance is placed. The elements of inspiration for the exterior include a copper roof that accents the cantilever and frosted bronze opaque reflective glass for all windows. These elements are for style and function. The copper will put the age and the environment and become a mint green, naturally. And the windows are opaque from the outside, shielding the intense heat and can be looked through from the inside to give natural light. They enhance the natural look of the flooring and start the story of the design from the outside. I layered pencil colors in order to create the reflective glass. I did the same with the landscaping, but only with markers. Stone pavers create the pathway and desert florals enhance the exterior appeal. I painted the cantilever cover and the window glass has a dark bronze aluminum clad frame. As an accessory dwelling, this unit has a built-in heat deterrent with the glass system and the cantilever built into the structure. The recessed lighting on the exterior adds to the design. When one is working from home, it's not unusual to work late into the evening or early morning hours. The exterior lighting brings a warmth to the space. Yep, your home this can feel warm. I rendered the interior in the same fashion as the exterior, starting on graph paper, then going to tracing the space on the tracing paper. The interior of the space measures 14 feet long by 12 feet wide by 10 feet tall. It is an accessory dwelling, and most building codes require the height to be low in order for the unit to not be obstructive to the community where it will be placed. Having a smaller space means that the user will have to be intentional. As an office, the dimension perfect. There's enough space for larger furniture, files, and decor. The oak and hickory style flooring was chosen because it has a unique soft brown hue and beautiful grain marks. It creates a rustic look without being overbearing. Many laminates and engineered hardwood flooring styles can be nailed down, glued down, or installed via a floating application. This, it, it makes it the perfect do-it-yourself build material as both the novice and the expert can produce the results that they seek. Be sure to consult the installation instructions and the place of purchase for your flooring option that you have chosen. 
Recreating the flooring was fun. I had to layer, scrape, and relayer the pencil colors in order to really show the grade of flooring, as well as the visual range of the space. The floor to ceiling window in, to the left is the actual door to the dwelling. It is a pivoting door that has a handle located in the middle of the right frame panel that when pushed or pulled, sways the door from the center of the frame to be open. It really complements the space and adds more of the aviation theme throughout. You will notice that the window is not opaque from the interior, so the natural light can fill the space. The walls are painted with a soft neutral gray that actually has a sand view. This keeps the flooring the main foundational aspect and allows for more freedom in the accessories chosen. More details about the inspiration elements will be shown in the next few images. Many engineered hardwood flooring styles are wider and offer a UV lacquered finish. When you choose engineered hardwoods, they can be installed in below grade areas of your home or dwelling. I chose this flooring style for the dwelling because it provides a stiff texture to the design that complements the aviator theme in the copper fixtures and brown textured metal wall design elements, but also for the versatility in design and quality. When choosing your flooring, keep in mind that the methods of the engineering process enhance the natural strength of the wood. So though most do not have heavy foot traffic in their office because of the flooring, you still receive and house heavy shipments in your space or conduct business in a way that's not compromised by your built materials. The versatility of the installation methods makes it perfect to add to your home or to your luxury accessory dwelling. This whole process was really fun to develop. By designing the interior with the supporting decor elements has been epic. So let me start at the top. The dwelling is small, measuring 14 feet long by 12 feet wide by 10 feet tall, so recessed lighting allows you to keep a range of the square footage of the space. The copper ceiling fans were an inspiration element from the development of the concept. I knew that having that supporting decor piece that accentuate the flooring would bring the design theme to life. I drew the simpler ceiling fans shown at the center of the images, I mean, show the center images, but have included images at the top right of more ornate models to really show how one could take this space to a really high expression of the theme. The details of the fan shown make the dwelling even more of a conversation piece. Right above the render on the left, you will find an image of a pivoting door concept. This model shown is smaller, so the pivot is not as centered, but wider door frames like our concept can deliver the centric opening well. The wall accents are inspired by the Mohs Bronze Powder Engraving Collection pattern strings, which you will see on your top right, and a darker brown tattoo. And the second one shown is the decorative metal collection matte diagonal perforations and classic khaki bamboo. These two wall decor elements really bridge the gap between the steampunk inspiration and a futuristic or millennial approach. Having wall decor that plays with the lines and shape illusions will make the form bigger and really reflect the natural light that adorns the space. Our painting inspiration color is the Sherwin-Williams Studio Clay, and that's number 9172. It's not completely gray and has a stage tone that I mentioned, which really softens the space and keeps it from feeling commercial or staged. I was also inspired by Baby Bok Joy, which is a muted lime green, color number 9037, and Anchors Away, which is a darkened navy, color number 9179. All of these will be in the description. And they're all by Sherman Williams, as they can provide another way to express the neutrals and equally enhance the flooring. The furniture inspiration is from Restoration Hardware. The large tufted brown leather sofa is from the Soho Collection and is shown in the Berman Cognac leather color from Restoration Hardware and is perfect for the space as it really becomes that heavy masculine piece that showcases the design. The flooring stands out more with a heavier sofa in this concept. The desk is the Mayfair Beamer Trunk Five Drawer Desk and brushed steel and is also from Restoration Hardware. The leather accents on the desk, along with the brushed steel material, really adds to the details that can be seen both up close and upon entering the space. Both pieces are called in a distinct way. Additional information about all of these decor elements will be listed in the description. Here is the hand-drawn pencil render of the exterior side of the dwelling. You'll notice in the image, along with the previous images in the pencil renders, that my drawing tools are shown in the top right corner. I use soft lead mechanical or regular pencils, Statler and non-name brand. For coloring, I use pencils, markers, paint, and occasionally chalk pastels, though for these renders, um, no chalk pastels were used. 
Before I color, I outline the pencil render in ink with my Rapidograph pen. Rapidograph pens have various line thicknesses per pen, which really helps me display the scale. The oak hickory style flooring can be seen through the tinted window in this render. In this, render. this is the side of the dwelling, which is the pivoting door seen in the interior render. I made the exterior window tinted in this render in order to show the room from this view, but the window's glass is frosted on the exterior and only tinted from the interior. Using an engineered hardwood with a UV lacquered finish is a wise choice so that the sun peering through the window wouldn't harm the flooring if this were a traditional window glass. That feature of the flooring is really important. When you finish, when the finish on the flooring is not of good quality, the shade of the flooring is compromised over time and the strength of the flooring is compromised over time as well, since the finish would wear away. The side of the dwelling also keeps the copper roof as it really makes the building design cohesive and allows to further stand out. The dark bronze aluminum of the front window seen through the glass and the side door that takes up the entire wall softly contributes to the part the copper plays as a metallic build accent. The desert landscaping keeps the overall design minimal and do-it-yourself friendly. Some species of succulents and cacti and desert flowers tend to bloom, which creates an epic contrast to their otherwise prickly facade. I think that it adorns well and is low maintenance, which is always nice. The aviator is an amazing luxury accessory dwelling design to be an office, and it's very enjoy it was very enjoyable to design the concept with the hickory look to the flooring. Whether you are looking to invest in one of our accessory dwelling concepts or would like to update a room within your home, do-it-yourself projects are always an amazing opportunity to add unique elements to your house. The designs of our luxury accessory dwelling collection are created to help you incorporate more life into your home. We have, a des we have designed accessory dwellings based on the aspects of your life that you experience both inside and outside of your main house. Choosing oak hickory laminate or engineered hardwood flooring was the perfect focal point for our AV or office accessory dwelling. Just like in an outfit, the perfect pieces build the foundation. This flooring really helped me to convey the design concept. Visit us for more information about our luxury accessory dwelling line, the Lifestyle Collection, at www.fortarchitecture.life and www.thesunkissedhome.com. Your home is your haven, and we hope you have enjoyed experiencing our design and room process and learning more about the aviator, the first dwelling concept in our luxury accessory dwelling line, the lifestyle collection. To view additional details about the aviator and our luxury accessory dwelling line, the lifestyle collection, or make a purchase, visit our website at www.fortarchitecture.life. Stay updated with us by visiting our social media links pictured here and all of the handles and like and subscribe this video as we'd like to have you along for the ride. We thank you for watching and stay tuned for more of our arrivals.